Molly Wood and welcome to the CNET Mailbag, the show where we take your feedback about the stuff we do here at CNET. And we have an exciting announcement to make. After hundreds of emails, including a poem from a guy named Dan that he sent in about 10 times, we have finally realized, hey, you like our show and you want it every week. And I want to do the show every week and I don't know why these forces have kept us apart for so long, but dang it, we're doing Mailbag every week. Yeah! But with all good news comes a little bad news. The bad news is that in order to do Mailbag every week, which you have been clamoring for, we have to kill Today in Tech History. Although honestly, not that many of you have been clamoring for that. So I know there will be some of you who are disappointed, but try to remember, at least you get Mailbag. And I'll be doing more insider secrets and quick tips, so keep an eye out for those as well. Okay, so yay for that. Let's do some mail. Tim Mail wrote in to say, I just wanted to point out that when talking about Cool, the search engine in the July 31st Buzz Report, you said it has over 120 million pages indexed, when I think Cool deserves the credit for over 120 billion pages. I'm not harping on you about this mistake because I know you just read it off a script, so please don't be mad at me. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not mad, but yeah, it's me you're harping on. I write all my own scripts, and sometimes all my own scripts have typos in them. <laughs> Lame. Thanks for noticing, though. Little Bucko wrote in and said, I was watching the latest insider secret, tether your cell phone to your laptop, and I was wondering, who is Mark Lasea? Is he the new guy at CNET? Just wondering. And you know what? How rude. We should have introduced Mark. He was our intern in New York, and he's made a couple cameos on Buzz Report and Loaded, but he's now our new associate producer and occasional Loaded interviewer and host of some insider secrets. He's great, and we're really happy to have him, so keep your eyes peeled for Mark. Constantinos had a question this week. I was wondering if there is any way to make a program run on startup. I recently disabled my pointing device application, a point, for my laptop's trackpad, and now I have to relaunch it every time I start my system in order to be able to scroll. So if there is a way, please let me know. Oh yes, there is a way, and it's not very hard. In fact, I am going to shoot a CNET quick tip on that, and we'll put it up on CNET TV this week. Watch for it coming soon. See, I have more time already. Brian was not the only person to write in about this next subject. So I was watching Hulu the other day when I came across a Visa ad with Brian Cooley. I was like, whoa, Brian Cooley does ads now? Not only was I amazed about that, but the number of cats he has and why he's always wondering what they're doing when he's away. He isn't some like crazy cat lady, is he? There's a kind of camera called a network camera. It connects directly to the internet or your home network. My wife and I wanted to know, what do the cats do all day when we're away? We realized after we installed them, they don't do anything. They just sleep. Um, yeah, he kind of is. There's a lot of things you don't know about Brian Cooley. And finally, let's see what's up today in hair mail. Brandon wrote, with all these crazy teens these days and their new hairstyles loitering on my lawn and whatnot, it is refreshing to wake up and see Tom's responsible hair on BOL. The density, the color, the vibrancy is truly a work of art. Who is Tom's hairstylist? Obviously not the same as that hip new Brian Tong character. What shampoo does he use? Does he make his own? Probably. Do you know what he calls his shampoo? If he doesn't have a name, I would suggest Responsible Tom Shampoo. He could make some big money if he teamed up with Johnson & Johnson or Best Buy. Tell Tom I love his hair today. And Tim wrote in to say, As I was watching the July 29th edition of Planet CNET, I thought, Wow, Kara's hair looks great. Someone should tell her. So Molly, if you could tell Kara that her hair looks great, I would appreciate it. It really complements her facial features nicely. Aww. Tim and Brandon, I will let them know. I like their hair too. Their hairs. Anyway, that's it for this week, everyone. I'll see you back here next week. Keep that feedback coming and tell your friends to watch. We still need them. Mailbag at CNET.com or send me a postcard, 235 2nd Street, San Francisco, California, 94105. See you next time. <laughs>